Right, good afternoon and uh, thank you for joining The Average Golfer back here at 4 Golf Chester. A little bit more testing is back with uh, big old Bertha because Callaway, you'll have looked at the irons last week, Callaway have brought out uh, also a new hybrid, hybrid featuring gel brake technology, fully adjustable hosel, that's the first time ever, plenty of fast ball speeds, easy to launch, all the things you'd expect Callaway to be saying about a hybrid that goes right the way from, I think it's a 3 hybrid all the way to an 8 hybrid. I've got a four right here now. Camera is already out there in the bay. Balls are ready. Let's get into some golf balls and see what this hybrid does in the hands of the average golfer. Right, okay, so this new Big Bertha hybrid from Callaway. A um, couple of things to mention. I did say it features jailbreak technology and they've also changed the hosel, the Optifit hosel on this from previous models. Previous model I actually gained, which is the Epic hybrid. And I've never noticed before, I've never had an issue with the, uh, the hosel on the, on the Epic Hybrid. Having said that, they've made it a lot shorter, a lot more compact, and it's a lot neater on this new Callaway Big Bertha. And once again, they'll have pinched that weight and they'll have placed it a little bit further back in this club, slightly longer elongated club head than the Epic, which will allow, no doubt, in increasing our ability to launch um, this golf ball. Like I said, in terms of looks, slightly bigger profile overall from a lot of hybrids certainly is from my epic hybrid and for me maybe just a little bit bulky on my eye but for a lot of other people that's going to be what they call confidence inspiring just making sure that my microphone's turned on um high gloss finish on the top you see all the loft that's on this club you see plenty of club face there's a bit of offset in there again not really suiting my eye in that sense high gloss finish and the way it looks from the top yes it does they come with this recoil UST shafting, which I'm a massive fan, in, uh, fan of, as I am with this uh, Z5 Genesis Lampkin grip, which I've never used before. But again, I'm loving that grip as well. I tried this golf course in the real environment out there on the golf course. And that's before I hit golf balls here. I've got to say, it performed more than well enough out there. As you'd expect in hands of the average golfer, some good, some bad. I'm going to just see if we can pick up some ball flights because it's a slightly, I'm late in the afternoon recording this one this week. So we might be able to pick a few ball flights from, uh, from this darker sky. We shall see. I'm not going to say too much more. Hit some golf balls and tell you my overriding opinion of this hybrid. Hopefully we picked up the ball flight there. Um, Target line is always, and you should hopefully pick it up from the back there, is the, um, the big um, electrical tower in the distance uh, pylon, which that just cuts slightly off left to right. So that's the target we'll be aiming at. Um, it's as you'd expect. I mean, it's a powerful ball flight, powerful face. I mean, this is going to be... Uh, and and uh, again, that one just cutting back nice to the target line. Decent two ball flights, I've said it on a lot of clubs at the moment, launch is good without being floaty. Uh, I like the way that ball is going through the, uh, going through the air. Um, offset is slightly off-putting for me, uh, I would say, but we'll, again, we'll be okay for a lot of others. I think in terms of how I found out there on the course, I did use it in a variety of positions, both from off the tee as well, and also from the rough and from a tight lie on the fairway. And with all hybrids, very uh, much capable of doing all those things and making you feel comfortable about doing it. The thing for me is they've gone from, uh, I think it's a three hybrid, right the way through to an eight hybrid. I think that's a major selling point of this club and the Big Bertha new set of irons as well, is I would say it's probably aimed at people with slightly slower ball speeds. Maybe if you do struggle with launch and club head speed with the sort of, because eight iron in a hybrid, uh, would be looking at somebody who's just needing that little bit of assistance with uh, speed, club head speed and being able to launch that ball. Uh, but if you do, it's the perfect combination set to make golf just that little bit easier and maybe a little bit more enjoyable. So I'm all for what they've done there. I'm not seeing performance wise that... <laughs> Took that one down the left. Just close that one off a bit. I'm not seeing performance um, that is saying it's massively different and I don't suppose things have to be massively different, but I'm not seeing any sort of gains here from clubs that are already out there on the marketplace, clubs that already exist in Callaway's own range of hybrids. That's the issue that uh, 
I perhaps have at the moment. I can't really report anything. As you know, I uh, get a little bit excitable with some of these um, clubs that come in. I always like to look at uh, positives with them in this. Very good looking club, great performer. And I'm not looking to be critical because there's nothing wrong with the club. The problem is, is that how do you, um, how do I portray this club out to you as an audience and say that uh, you should rush out and buy it? Because quite honestly, if you have a hybrid uh, of the last 12 months, 18 months or so that you're comfortable with, I can't see that this is going to offer you a great deal more than you already have in your hands. So assessment's very easy. If you look for a new hybrid, if it's four or five years old, if you've not tested hybrids for quite some time, stick it into the mix, give it a go. If not, I'd sit pretty because there's not a lot going on in here that for me is offering you anything different than what you've already got in your bag. Anyway, I will hit some more golf balls. And as ever, thank you for watching. You'll notice no data on this one. I've gone straight in, give you my opinion on the balls I've hit here right now, my balls I've hit out there on the course. And we'll leave the data, I think, on this one. Anyway, thank you for watching.